This is ASVAB Tutoring's rundown of the ASVAB Electronics Information Test. I would advise you bring out a pen and paper and stop the video after I read out each question so that you can learn to solve the problems with me. As always, you can download the ASVAB Prep 2024 app from the App Store or Google Play Store to practice even more questions. You can also visit asvabtutoring.com to connect with one of our professional tutors to ensure you get the best possible grade on the ASVAB electronics information test. For this video at the very least, let's look at problem one. In problem one, it says that a bridge rectifier, uh, in a bridge rectifier, the number of diodes that conduct at a one at a time, uh, the number of diodes that are able to conduct at a time is, The answer here is two. So why is it two? Well, in a bridge rectifier, during the positive half cycle, two diodes conduct and gives the output. Similarly, in a negative half cycle, other two diodes conduct and gives the output. Hence, at a time, two diodes will be on in a bridge rectifier. Big one. Okay, problem number two. In a properly biased transistor, the relationship between LE, LB, and LC is given by, well, we've got a bunch of different expressions here. We just have to choose the right one. So the answer here is LE equals LB plus LC. It's this one. Why is this? Well, its base emitter junction is forward biased, while its base collector junction is reverse biased. At this condition, the relationship between LE, LB, and LC is given by LE equals LB plus LC. There you are. All right, next question. We've got a device which is used for voltage regulation in a power supply is called one of these answers. Now, the answer here is the Zener diode. This, the reason for this being is that in a power supply, one of the simplest ways of regulating the DC output voltage is by keeping the output voltage constant by using a Zener diode, which is our answer right here. Okay, problem four. What will be the power dissipation across a silicon diode carrying a current of 50 milliamps? The answer here is 35 milliwatts. This is because the given, i.e. the given LD, oops, is about 50 milliamps. The VD then would be 0.7. And then the power dissipation here would be 0.7 times by 50. And then the power dissipation we get out of that is 35 milliwatts. And there you are. Okay, problem five. Which among the following is a current controlled device? The MOSFET, the BJT, the IGBT, or the JEFT? Well, the only current control device here is actually the BJT. Why is this? Well, if we have a, a voltage, if, if we think about the voltage control devices, well, we have uh, for a voltage control device, We have the IGBT, the FET, and the MOSFET. The only current control device is actually the BJT. We also have things like the frequency control devices, like the quartz oscillators, and also phase control devices, such as the SCAR and the TRIAC. But for our purposes here, the current control device is only the BJT. Okay, 
next problem. A buck converter is used to, well, here's, here are all the options. What? The correct answer here is C, we step, uh, oops, my bad. <laughs> it's, the, it's D, we step down the voltage. I said a step up, I mistook it for step up because we actually step up the current. So while we step up the current, um, the buck converter, which is a step down converter, it's a DC to DC power converter that keeps the voltage down whilst you know stepping up the current from its input to its supply. So from its, uh, so from its input supply to its output load. So yes. Okay, problem seven. The transition temperature of a superconductivity material, titanium, is one of these options. The K is in Kelvin. Well, here the answer is 0.4 Kelvin. The transition temperature of superconductivity is also known as the critical temperature. So um, let's see. Transition temperature is also known as the critical temperature. Or superconductivity. And for this, for titanium, um, it's just a fact that it is 0.4 Kelvin in terms of superconductivity. Okay, moving on to the next question. Which of the following oscillators is the most stable one? The RC phase shift oscillator, the Colpitz oscillator, the crystal oscillator, or the Hartley oscillator? Well, the most stable one here is the crystal oscillator. Okay. Problem number nine. What is the full form of UJT in transistors? Is the universal tran junction transistor, the unijunction transistor, the union junction transistor, or the uniform junction transistor? Well, it's unijunction transistor. All the other ones are incorrect. And problem number 10. What is the full form or, or name of SCR? Well, it is a silicon controlled rectifier right here. As always, you can download the ASVAP Prep 2024 app from the App Store or Google Play Store to practice even more questions. You can also visit asvaptutoring.com to connect with one of our professional tutors to ensure you get the best possible grade on the ASVAB, not just on the electronics information test, but for everything else too. As always, see you next time.